For decades, Asians have been portrayed in a stereotypical and judgmental fashion throughout Western media. TV shows, movies, commercials, and even music has painted an obvious yellow image of Asians without thinking of the influence of its stain on Western audiences for years to come. In recent times, as the number of Asian audiences has increased in America, the demand for an accurate portrayal of Asian characters and their culture is becoming a common goal amongst all Asians. But are these attempts in Western media successful enough to gain access to a cultural revolution? Or are Asian media influencers just deconstructing their own culture in a simpler style for small-minded Westerners to understand better? You will never be enough. I sat down with a few college students who come from all different backgrounds to listen to their opinions and perceptions of Asian stereotypes in Western media and how the Asian image is slowly changing. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. I guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh. My name is Yan Qi Wang. People call me Fei Fei because it's my nickname. I'm from China, Wuhan. To me, we all look different. Let's say we all look different. In my point of view, people say we all have smaller eyes, but I don't think that's true. Look at my eyes. Some of my friends came uh, also from China or Korea or Thailand. They got really big eyes like Gabby. Hi, my name is Xin Xin. I'm from Beijing, China. So the stereotypes I see on Asians are like, you know, restaurant or shopkeepers. Uh, like what we see the a guy called Han in the two broke girls. Max, open up. I'm very upset. More upset than that time you enrolled me in Little League. <laughs> Every time he comes into the show, everybody lo is laughing. But like, that's like, that's not every Asian should be. Asian people always be in the comedy. They are always the funny character uh, that everybody is laughing at. I finally did this play. Like 10 years ago, people think all Asians can do Kung Fu, but that's not true. I can't. <laughs> Asians are really hard to get a role or a character in Hollywood movie or TV shows. Really, really hard for them to get. Based on stereotypes that are totally untrue, that I do not agree with, you would maybe not be a very good driver. My name is Rita Denon and I'm a junior at Columbia College Chicago. Of course, Mulan, my favorite. Avatar The Last Airbender. And recently, there's been like a lot more so. There's like, of course, Crazy Rich Asians, Fresh Off the Boat. Yeah, I mean, those are like the ones that really, that come to mind where it's like predominantly Asian characters. I'm sure you and your lovely family can find other accommodation. May I suggest you explore Chinatown? Really? That's what I want. I love the movie. I love it. Not only because of they breaks all the stereotype of Asian. Papa, can we go trampoline? You haven't finished your nuggets yet, sweetie. Okay, there's a lot of children starving in America, right? But I, I'm proud of it because um, this is the only one. This is the first one that all Asian actresses, actors, all Asian like directors, like all Asians. <laughs> So yeah, I think through K-pop, specifically because it's music, um, so like, and it's dance, and it's fashion, and you're just starting to see that Asian men are actually very attractive because they're being portrayed and styled in a way that is meant to be attractive versus in older Western media, they were like portrayed as geeky nerds. Before culture race and media, I was aware of Asian stereotypes. 
But after this class, I realized how important it is to stand up and change the way media represents certain images of cultures for people's own entertainment.